introduction of guests. Mr. Nicobel. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is my pleasure to introduce people from all over Ontario who are presently sitting in the West Member Gallery uh, to uh, raise awareness about Lyme disease. Uh, some of them are there and some of them have not quite made it. So we have uh, uh, Court Stegel, as well as Mary Stegel, Eleanor Johnson, Dwight Lyons, Carrie Krog, Nancy Dalek, Avril Ritterford, and Brian R Rutherford, Heather Hott. We have Sawyer Anderson. My handwriting is giving me trouble. Julie. Damcaster, Patty Anderson, Caroline Charbonneau, and Joelle Charbonneau, who are here in the member gallery. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is a pleasure and a privilege to present this big petition signed by 1,489 people from all across Ontario, and I'm especially pleased to present it in front of my guests in the gallery. And it goes as such, whereas the thick-borne illness known as chronic Lyme disease, which mimics many catastrophic illnesses such as multiple sclerosis, Crowns, Alzheimer's, arthritic diseases, depression, chronic fatigue, and fibromyalgia is increasingly endemic in Canada, but the scientifically validated diagnostic test and treatment choice are currently not available in Ontario, forcing patients to seek these either in the U.S. or in Europe, and whereas the Canadian Medical Association informed the public, governments, and the medical profession in the May 30, 2000 edition of their professional journal that Lyme disease is endemic throughout Canada, particularly in southern Ontario, and whereas the Ontario public health system and the Ontario health insurance plan currently do not fund those specific tests that accurately serve the process of establishing a clinical diagnostic but only recognize testing procedures known in the medical literature to provide false negative 45 to 95 percent of the time, and whereas physicians practicing in Ontario do not receive current and updated information on the incidence of Lyme disease, being unaware that annually some 25,000 new cases are reported in North America, nor do physicians receive training in the diagnosis and treatment of acute or chronic Lyme disease and therefore remain unfamiliar with the highly effective protocol developed by the International Lyme and Associated Diseases Society. And whereas the Regulated Health Profession Act of Ontario states, it is the duty of the Minister of Health to ensure that the health profession are regulated and coordinated in the public interest. We, the undersigned, petition the Legislative Assembly of Ontario to request the Minister of Health to direct that the Ontario Public Health System and OHIP include all currently available and scientifically verified tests for acute and chronic Lyme diagnosis, to do everything necessary to create public awareness of Lyme disease in Ontario, and to have internationally developed diagnostic and successful treatment protocol available to patient and physician. I fully support this petition. Mr. Speaker will affix my name to it and send it to the clerk's table with Paige Helen. Thank you.